Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of T-365. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use conditional access policies to prevent access to corporate data on devices that aren't in compliance. So I'm here within the Endpoint Manager Admin Center. If you've watched previous videos, you know how to set up a compliance policy from within here as well from the Endpoint Manager Admin Center. And to refresh your memory, compliance policies basically decide the settings and configuration on a device that make it in a quote unquote healthy state. So with conditional access policies and pairing it with conditional access policies, you're able to actually prevent access to corporate data if it doesn't meet your standards, which is really opening up a lot of great security into our solution, as well as conforming to a newer zero trust model. We don't have to worry about firewalls. We're more concerned about user and device health to give access to corporate resources. So if I go into my devices here, I'll go into Windows, and I'll see here that I have this ITV4 device that's in a non-compliant state. If I go in, I can actually see why that's not in compliance. If I go into this account here, I can see that it's not encrypted. So that's why it's not compliant. So I want to set up a policy that basically blocks access until this device gets into a compliant state so I can protect corporate data and the level of access on that computer. So I'll go into the devices section here and under policy you have conditional access. You can click into it here and I'm going to go ahead and set up a new policy. You can go ahead and give this a name. And here under the users and groups you can scope this accordingly. What I recommend is assigning this to a couple users that are test users or test computers. And from there, you'd be able to go in and expand that once you make sure everything's working correctly. Also to note, if you do all users, if you have new devices that are onboarding, it may not be best to do this setting for this particular one because if a device comes in and it's not compliant immediately, that user is automatically going to get blocked before you can perform any type of remediation, which may be what you want. What I would recommend is adding that user or device into a certain group that's listed for this compliance policy so that whenever you get it ready into that state where it's compliant, you then fold it into this policy so that you're blocking access accordingly after the fact, but not upon the initial enrollment, if that makes sense. So here, I'm actually just going to do this on a test user, just to show you for this. So I'm gonna select Kyle here, and then for under the cloud apps or actions, you could isolate certain cloud apps if you really wanted to, and exclude some if you chose all cloud apps here. It's gonna give me perpetual warnings about not locking myself out. I think Microsoft had a ton of help desk calls just from people setting up these conditional access policies and scoping it too broadly and locking themselves out of their account. So they gave you plenty of warnings here throughout this wizard. Under the conditions here, you would be able to select certain device platforms if you really wanted to, locations, if you've set up any trusted locations in the environment and client apps. And so I won't be going through all of these just for the sake of time in this video. And none of these settings are something that we're gonna get figure here. Under the access controls, you're gonna select grant access and you're going to require this device to be marked as compliant. And here again, we get the don't lock yourself out. You could also add this to an existing policy you've created to require multi-factor authentication. It's not like you have to have a complete separate one. You just have to keep in mind scoping this to certain users or groups and what that will look like. Under session, I'm not gonna cover that today. Again, it's not required for this policy. Under the enable policy here, you could put it into report only mode and that allows you to gain telemetry over when this is actually triggered before you actually send it out. So another great way to test. I'm just gonna set it to on though, just because I wanna show you guys this immediately. I'm gonna go ahead and create this policy here and now it is created. And I can see that it is on as well too. So once this is in place, I think it can take a little bit of propagation time for it to take effect. But let's pop into this device and try to access our corporate data on that device and see what happens. Okay, so I'm here on the device. I'm gonna go ahead and just sign into office.com. Get my MFA prompt here. And I'm immediately getting this prompt here, which says, hey, this has sensitive information and it gives me information devices or client applications that meet Novico School of Mines, which is my tenant name here, management compliance policy. So this immediately tells them that their device is compliant. 
and they could potentially just open up a ticket. You could look at remediating those issues. If you have the client portal app or something like that, they would be able to see what issues they have within that portal. So it's a little bit more self-service, but this actually instantly took effect within a matter of a minute of me creating that policy. So latency isn't really a thing here when you talk about testing as well too. That's everything that I wanted to showcase for you guys in this video. Start instituting conditional access policies today. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be going through the key benefits of Microsoft Intune. Thanks guys, have a great day.